action to Sproles. Wentz. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Deshaun Jackson there to make the grab. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And a play fake down near the goal line here worked out well. Anytime you can make them think that you're going to run the ball and go to that play action pass, you see the end result. Usually a touchdown. Is that harder? Is the play fake harder to defend for the defense near the goal line or no? Because there's not as much room to work with. It is harder because down near the goal line, you're thinking much more of a running play, especially if people run out big formations. So it is harder to defend. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The 49er Three. offense set to get this drive underway. They trail 21. offense, first time to touch the ball play, in play, quarter play. three, play, play. and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because you, some teams script to start a half. Other teams 55, just go, okay, 55. these are the sequence of plays we want to hey, run. These things worked well for us. Hey, and on, sometimes on, they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And that's caught inside the 35. Garoppolo able to find good one for a big one. And even 50 yards. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Garoppolo. This one complete to Coleman. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown and across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the 49ers make some inroads here on that deficit. Gold with the extra point. Back now here in Santa Clara. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Pilot, 64, weak. Sproles, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That second down play nets a minus four. And that is incomplete. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. Trying to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Karan Williams. So they get the takeaway, but that's just step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can take it away again. Yeah, still three-score game, though, fourth quarter. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hey, Charlie. Let's get it together, defense. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo taking a shot for Samuel. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. 
picked off by Ronald Darby. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Here's a handoff to Sproles to start the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now on second and 13, Wentz. Blitz coming and down he goes. Getting the sack, the 227-pound linebacker, Quan Alexander. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston company with some work to do after the sack. Working from the gun, Lentz. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is taken near the 13. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 30 yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. 23 yards, the final tally. Garoppolo now. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. To throw, it's Garoppolo. That's complete to a speedy wideout, Goodwin. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. There's Garoppolo to throw. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by the linebacker, Nigel Bradham. Oh, the hurdle. Oh, oh. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. The great thing he's done. 
Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Great 15, great 15. 16 yards. From the gun on third down, Wentz. This one complete to Sproles. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Wentz to throw. And this is caught at the 8. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Here we go, here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Did they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown, but they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. One play... 80 yards, pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Goal to add the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down to 28. How does the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away? That's fielded in the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out. But... Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Wentz. He's got a man complete. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.